Now to a developing story. There is a medical marijuana plant that has parents moving to Colorado to help their kids. It's called Charlotte's Web and named after a young girl in Colorado. Well, we've shown you how it's drastically changed her life. Well, now, as CBS4's Mark Taylor tells us, advocates claim that hundreds of families are moving here in a last-ditch effort to help their suffering children. Perfect. We felt it in our hearts that it was, it was what we needed to do. The Jay family hails from Minnesota, but have now been Coloradans for about two weeks, a move solely to help their daughter, Jenna. Jenna has intractable epilepsy due to a brain malformation. Right now, she takes 15 pills a day, but still has up to 500 seizures a month. And mom and dad are done guessing with doctors. They, at one point, they just, they just don't know anymore. So he said, we're just taking stabs at it. Well, that's my daughter. They're one of many families turning to Colorado. We're hoping for seizure control and um, to see some really good things with her. The Harmons are coming from Amarillo, Texas to help eight-year-old Jillian, who has cerebral palsy and epilepsy. From day one, we've always thought there's got to be something. Both families hope that something is what Joel Stanley is making, Charlotte's Web. I would say we have over 100 that have made the move. Stanley says they've been contacted by thousands of families in every state, Canada, and overseas. We believe we'll be able to grow what we need to keep up with the demand. Charlotte's Web has less than 0.3% THC, and Growers Hearsay now qualifies it as a hemp product, which will allow them to grow it more. Under the hemp rules and regulations, we're not really limited by plant count. Currently, about 300 patients are on the marijuana oil, a number that tripled in only a few months after its namesake gained notoriety. She's amazing. She's the same. So again, two years into this now, off all her pharmaceuticals. Charlotte's mother, Paige, now works with Realm of Caring, a nonprofit that educates parents, patients, and even other state legislatures on the drug that changed her daughter's life. She has, you know, her life back again. She can, she can do things that like a two or three year old child can do. The scientific and medical communities need to understand more about this. An understanding that soon may be growing as more and more parents turn to Charlotte's Web and possibly see success. If there's a chance that it can help, why not at least try it? Mark Taylor, CBS4 News. And just this month, state health officials offered over $7 million in research grants to look into the helpful properties of marijuana.